Hi, it's Guinea Pig 320 and I'm going to be doing a guinea pig pa uh, baiting video today. And um, let's just get started. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need is a, a pretty good sized sink. Uh, this is a good sink for me because it's got high walls so he can't easily jump out. And um, it's just the right size for a guinea pig. And um, you can go smaller than this but it'll be uh, a little bit difficult for them. And first thing that you're going to need to do is lay down some towels over the drainage cap and once you got that down then you can start putting in water and you're going to start with lukewarm water, I already got this set and since it's mid-October um, I'm just using uh, a little bit warmer water than I'd usually be, it's really cold outside and you're going to start with, um, you're going to fill it up now for only about an inch, you're only going to put about an inch of water in here so um, there isn't going to be any uh, drowning and any more than an inch could possibly result in uh, like stress, heart failure, it could really freak them out and just not that good. So once they get that filled up to an inch, we good. Okay, now that should be good. Now I'm gonna go get Darwin. And you're gonna gently, gently set him in there. And he's gonna kinda wanna climb up your arms to get away. And whoa, see that? <laughs> he jumps. Um, the first thing that you're gonna need to do is kinda get him calm with the water. Um, you're gonna kind of try to get him just gently uh, massage some water into there. See, he's just crazy. Um, you're going to gently try to massage some water into their fur um, from the back and the head. Um, you're going to want to uh, kind of firmly hold them, not tightly. You don't want to hurt them, but you're going to want to really hold them. Uh, he's kind of freaking out now. This is only probably his fifth bath. Um, he's not used to it. About at bath 10, they start getting used to it and they start enjoying it. But you're just going to want to kind of massage the water into there. You want to just completely leave their face alone. Just completely leave it alone. Um, sometimes the guinea pigs tend to go to the bathroom when you're giving them a bath. And that's okay. It's okay to go down the sink. It's not going to clog up your drains or anything. Um, you just want to massage the... And don't forget underneath. Um, you're going to want to really get the water in there because that's the one that's always touching the bedding and the um, feces that he leaves behind. And... You want to massage the water in there, and you kind of want to leave their ears alone. You don't want to get those really wet because that will irritate them. And now I'm just going to massage some water in there. There we go. Now it's time for the next step. I'm gonna get him out. I'll just sit here and I'll get you guys to where you can see what's happening. Well, here we go. I'm just gonna um, take some shampoo. The shampoo that you really want to use is um, Johnson Baby No Tears. Um, the other stuff that you can use is like uh, specially designed uh, guinea pig uh, and small rodent. Uh, uh, shampoo and I just use this because it works really well and it doesn't bother him at all so when you take him you're gonna put him on a, just a towel and he's still pretty wet and because so you don't want to get it on the counters or whatever and you're gonna open this up and you're just gonna put a, just a stream just a, a little stream down his back and he's gonna try to throw it off and from the towel, you're just going to work it in. You're just going to massage and massage it in. Here we go. It's okay, Donald. It's okay. It's okay. You've done this before. You're just going to try to massage all of the soap in. And they're going to squirm and kind of freak out and try to run, but they kind of don't have anywhere to run because they are smart enough not to jump off a thing unlike um, 
<laughs> the other rodents and stuff. Um, you're gonna really massage, you're gonna try to hold them firmly and you're just gonna really massage the soap in. Again, leave the face alone. That they, they clean the face on their own and um, so just kind of leave that alone. And when you're massaging, you really wanna get underneath because that's where, you know, all the bedding, used bedding and stuff touches and you're gonna really wanna get the bottom uh, because that's, you know, uh, a little bit dirty. Uh, you're just gonna wa wanna wash all over the feet, especially um, the front feet, the back feet. You're really just gonna want to um, get it all soaked up. And once you got most of it soaked up and nice and soapy, you're gonna wanna take the guinea pig and you're gonna wanna put him right back in. I got crap on my hands, so I'm gonna have some hard time moving the camera. Okay, there we go. Okay, so then when you're getting the water out, you're just gonna wanna sprinkle some water on them and just work it out. With the guinea pig um, and our fur, if you have a long-haired guinea pig, this may take like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, because it's gonna be a lot more difficult. My guinea pig, it only takes about seven minutes. Um, you're really just gonna wanna work it out and you really want to get it out and they help you doing that they really help you get it out and they don't they really 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 hate it when um you leave soap in their fur because that is just sticky and uncomfortable just like your hair and um you're really going to want to work it out you really don't want to leave any in there especially their feet underneath and the bottom you just want to get their entire body all soaked up there you go and they move the towels around, that's okay, as long as you keep them away from the drain. I'm gonna work all that soap out. And the longer you keep them in here, the more um, okay they are with it. And since uh, they kind of have a short-term memory, they kind of forget the last time they took a bath, so they might, uh, some guinea pigs might just completely forget, and they will act the same every bath as if it's their first. Oh, and as you um, probably can notice, I got a new camera, so it, it works really well. Um, I really enjoy it, and I think that it takes really good picture in HD, and I think that I'm going to be using it for a lot longer, and it's going to be my official guinea pig 320 camera. Pretty sure you just got water on the screen. It's funny. And you're gonna when you um, soap it up, you're really gonna want to get the soap out of the bottom because the soap is floating around in the water, and you really just want to get it out because it's really, really sticky and uncomfortable if you don't get it all out. Uh, and, and until your guinea pig is really, really, really okay with this, you're you're not gonna want to use the hose because that can really freak him out. And I barely did it, and it just freaked him out. And, yeah, it's really, they, they are not okay, because usually they clean themselves, but my guinea pig decides to get filthy, and I have to clean him. And most of the time, you should clean your guinea pig up to um, once or twice every month, and that's a good time to do it. And in the winter, you're going to want to use a little bit warmer water than the summer, because they know what um, it is, and your temperature in your house is always changing, too. Um according to the seasons and just seeing if there's any more soap in there and yeah they do that often if um, they accidentally get some water on their face they kind of like um, they do this kind of like a little chipmunk they just kind of scrape the they kind of push the water off with their hands but that's okay um, but if you hear any coughing or sneezing, you want to get them out of the water. There's nothing you can really do after that. You just got to get them out of the water and try to dry them off as best as possible. But now I got most of the stuff worked out. Pretty sure all of it. And I'm going to bring them over back to the towel. And I'm going to grab another towel here. Stay here, stay here, stay here. I'm just going to grab another towel and put it over him. And he's probably going to shake it off him run away, but I'll move the camera so you can see me. There 
there he is. Okay, there we go. So now you can see me drying him off. Here we go. And you're just going to want to, um, like, keyword in this video is massage. You're just going to want to rub the water out. And this is his favorite part because he's like, oh, water's gone. So he really enjoys his part. And you're really going to want to get every part of him dry. And in the really later, like, in the winter, um, you're going to want to use a hair dryer set on low. And not indirectly on their body, but you're going to want it on cold, cool and low. Um, you can do that in like December when it's really cold and they really need some heat. Um, but right now it's only October and it's like it's like 59 to 60 degrees out. It's 60 degrees out right now, I think. And uh, it's not real cool for him. He's usually used to that. <sighs> Stepping on my hand. Darwin, when he gets a bath, he's constantly trying to climb up my arm. He's just always doing that in the tub, out here. He's just always trying to climb up my arm. I don't know why, he just is. Now you, want, you really want to clean the bottom because that's, you know, the area that needs to be dry. And you're going to need to get underneath really good, really well. Um, you need to get his feet in between his toes, and this is one thing that you really can do. I don't have a white towel right now except for this one. This one I can't really pick up because he's on it. But you can take the end, and this is for a professional, like, guinea pig, like, when you have it for a long time. But you can take it, and you can just kind of wipe, not on the inside, just kind of wipe there. And you can get a whole bunch of dirt off of the inside of their ears, just like dust particles and stuff like that. And that helps a lot, and... Um, you can just do that like once every one or two baths and uh, it keeps their ears clean and nice and alert. I'm going to empty the sink now. Lucky Darwin, he didn't go to the bathroom this time. Last time it was not the, <laughs> not the cleanest tub after that, but if it's like your bathroom or kitchen sink, you're just going to want to... Um, they're not really filthy creatures. They don't carry a lot of germs. You're just going to want to, um, take some, like, uh, let's see, i got some right here, like, some Windex Multi-Surface, uh, killer, and it'll just kill anything that you think might be lurking in the sink. <laughs> and then you just wash it down, and it should be fine. And it wouldn't hurt him next time he takes a bath. Nice and dry. <laughs> Should I keep it like that? Does that does that look good? Look good. Making some squirty noises. There we go. Zoom in a little bit. <sighs> And he's leaving a lot of hairs behind now. I think he's getting to where he's shedding a lot. I'm, I'm probably going to have a guinea pig, um, like, how to trim their hair in a little bit. Um, one of those videos because he's getting some long hair. And I like to keep him a short-haired guinea pig instead of a long-haired guinea pig. And on my channel, you can see a lot of um, other videos and important things that you can have uh, for your guinea pig. And I think... Uh, Somebody requested on my page, I forget the name right now, uh, a, like, me going through and naming all of my supplies and how I keep them and, you know, not a cage tour, just like my supplies video. And, um, one of those, and I'm probably gonna do one of those. And I just want you guys to kind of give me some ideas because I will do it in about a week after you do it because I'm on my YouTube channel often. And I'm anxious to do it because I got a new camera, and this one's a lot better than my old one. It takes a lot better video. Um, came with a tripod and everything. That's what I'm using right now. And surprisingly, these guinea pigs aren't as popular in, um, uh, 
aren't as popular in my age group as um, in England, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, I only know one other kid in my grade that has one. Um, and he has a girl, and um, he, me and him chat about our guinea pigs often. But I was reading in the UK, a lot of people have them. Like, they're really popular in all age groups. Are you nipping at me? Are you nipping at me? Uh, but the thing that usually people ignore when they're drying is the sides, and that's really, really, really annoying to them. Because they're wet, they're cold, um, they're annoyed, they just don't like it. And right here, I'm going to start washing this bottom. Go now, I got sides. Got all dried. Sorry. Hair back there was not getting too dry. And all these towels that you're using are all, uh, you can just wash them in the dish, uh, not dishwasher, the uh, washing machine as normal. Just throw them in with the normal load that you do and they'll, they'll clean, the hair will go down, it won't do anything to your washer. Um, and uh, usually people have this spray that I don't know what triggered the idea to invent it, but it's like this spray that you spray on your rodent and it supposedly makes them smell better. And I don't know about that because it's just kind of a, I mean, these guinea pigs, they don't smell at all. They, like, they really don't. Their bedding doesn't really smell. Their feces really doesn't smell. The only thing that um, really smells is like... Shampoo and shampoo smell. The Baby Johnsons usually um, last for probably about three weeks, two to three weeks, and then the smell goes away, and then he just smells like nothing, like he normally does. And now that I got him about seventy-five percent clean, uh, dry, um, I think he's pretty good. And this is gonna be the end of this video. Um, hope you liked it. Um, just want you to. Um, comment, rape, subscribe. Okay, bye.